Hey guys. So I need to like rant about something. So this product that I'm going to talk about in particular, I've been wanting to try for a really long time. And the reason why I'm thinking I haven't tried them before now is because all other stuff got in the way. Because I'm an impulse buyer sometimes and, you know, all these other things probably got in the way. But it's the Aubrey Organics Honeysuckle Rose Shampoo Conditioner, right? So yesterday, I filmed my Kinky Curly routine video, right? And the reason why I had, well, I didn't have to, but the reason why I filmed it is because I told you guys I would, and because I was trying to fix my hair from these two things, right? So I actually bought these when I bought Kinky Curly back in, I think, July or wherever, when I was home from Whole Foods. Totally forgot I had them. I went to go shampoo and condition my hair yesterday, and I found them in my little thing, and I was like, oh my god, how did I forget that I had these, right? So, of course, I'm all excited because I've heard all reviews about this stuff and how it's good, supposedly, and it's great for dry, curly hair, especially the Honeysuckle Rose one, um, just because it claims, the conditioner, it says detangles and smooths for ultra-soft, shiny, touchable hair, and then down here it says for dry, brittle hair, right? So I'm like, great, you know, my hair is not necessarily dry and brittle, but us curly heads, we can always use extra moisture. So, first off, the smell, it has like a honey type smell mixed with kind of like a sunscreen smell. It's almost like a, it's a weird smell. It's kind of medicinal. Um, it's definitely probably an acquired smell, I would say. A lot of people probably wouldn't like the smell. It's okay for me. Um, I can, I can deal with it, right? It's not, um, so strong that it'll stay in your hair, you know, to the point that it'll make you sick. It's not that strong, but it's a very kind of odd smell. Um, the shampoo, first off. Oh, and excuse my fingernails, they're all chipped and I'm sorry. The shampoo, very liquidy. It's like water. I, you know, I shook it. You know, it sounds like a normal shampoo would, but I pour it out and it's like water. It's not even thick at all. Um, so I'm like, in the shower, whatever, lather it up on my scalp, massage my scalp, rinse it out. First off, my hair is stripped, like, to the point where I thought I was using, like, a clarifying shampoo. Stripped. And I'm like, okay, you know, shampoo's not that big of a deal. I don't really care about the shampoo anyway. The whole thing I want to see what works fantastically is the conditioner, right? And the conditioner is nice and thick, and I'll show you, I'll try to show you, I'll try to squeeze them up. But you see how thick that is? Yeah. It's a nice, thick consistency, right? So I'm like, oh, this will be awesome. This conditioner is thick. Thick conditioner plus my hair equals awesomeness, always, right? So I take a good amount. I put it on my hair, and I start to detangle, like I always do. I should have known then took me 10 minutes to detangle my hair. Max, it, you, max, okay, if I don't really have a good conditioner to, de to detangle my hair with, maybe five minutes. Maybe. And that's really pushing it. Um, never in my life has it taken that long to detangle my hair. Usually, slap the conditioner on, take my shower comb, start at the ends. Detangling is a breeze always. I've never had a problem with detangling. My hair doesn't knot up that much. You know, even if I haven't washed my hair in, like, a week, detangling is not that hard, okay? Took me 10 minutes to detangle my hair with this stuff. So I'm like, all right, all right, let's not start tripping about this now. So I put it up, finish my business in the shower, and I usually rinse with kind of lukewarm, cool water because... You know, that whole thing of, like, you're supposed to rinse conditioner out with cool, cold water just because it closes the cuticle and seals in the conditioning properties of the conditioner. Makes sense, but I like warm, steamy, hot showers. I can't end it with, like, cold water. It'll just ruin my whole day. So I end with 
when I'm washing my hair with kind of like lukewarm water. Kind of cool, right? Did that. And usually, usually when I rinse with cool water, I have no problem at all. This stuff, instantly, as it was washing out of my hair, I put my hair on my head and I was like, something is wrong. My hair felt like dried straw. To the point where I was kind of afraid to touch my hair too much because I felt like it was going to break off in my hand. Never have had this experience ever. So, of course, I'm like, what? what's going on? So, of course, I immediately, like, turn over the thing. I'm reading the ingredients, which I've done this before, you know, and I'm looking for, like, all this protein because... Although my hair, my hair accepts protein. Protein really isn't a problem, but maybe there's like extra protein or something. I don't know. So I'm reading like the ingredients and stuff, and I'm not really seeing anything out of character that my hair wouldn't like. So, you know, of course I grabbed, what did I co-wash with yesterday? My Giovanni Smooth Silk Conditioner. Uh, took a whole bunch of that, slathered it on my hair. I didn't even detangle again because I, you know, but my hair needed to be detangled, but didn't even want to put a comb in my hair. Just slapped it on, made sure my ends and stuff were covered, put it up in a clip, and probably left that on for a good 15, 20 minutes. And then when I rinsed, my hair was okay. And then I proceeded with the kinky curly. But never have I ever wanted to really just throw two products away. Ever. Like, I've had products that are bad and they don't really work, but I make them work. I put them in rotation and, like, my styling with, I put them, like, with a leave-in or whatever, you know, and I make them work, so I use them up so I'm not wasting money. But, like, I forget how much these were. I don't know, 7 to $10 a piece, whatever. Um, I don't know what to do. I really don't. I really want to throw them away. And the only thing that's stopping me is knowing that I spent, you know, at least $20 between them. So, I need help from you guys. If you've ever used RB Organics or have had, like, a similar situation with a product, it doesn't have to be RB Organics, but, like, a similar hair outcome, you know, did you keep the product? Did you throw it away? If you've used this and you've had similar results to mine, did you make it better? Like, I don't know. I'm kind of more concerned with the conditioner because I really want the conditioner to work. I really, really want the conditioner to work. But, you know, I was thinking of adding, like, oils or something to it. But, I mean, oils can't really put the moisture that I need for my hair to offset what this did to my hair. Like, I don't know. I, I have no clue. I really just want to throw these away. And I never throw away products um, after using them once. Um, and I'm really scared to try them again because you guys know when I do product reviews, I've tried a product at least two or three times before I even think of doing a review, you know. Um, but, yeah, I I kind of just don't even want to use these anymore and throw them away. I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's my rant. So if you could give me any advice, that'd be great. Just leave them down in the comments box. I would love that. Um, yeah. And I usually respond right away because it goes to my handy dandy Blackberry. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, to all my new subscribers, welcome to all my old ones. Thank you for continuing to watch. Uh, as you can see back there, I went to Target. I had a impulse buy product junkie moment, which is really, really bad. Um, I need help, you guys. I need help. I've fallen off. Um, but that'll come in a later video. So, again, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, that's it. Bye.